welcome to the Learning Reservoir's latest video and in this video I'm going to take you through what the EU MDR is. My name is Fiona Masterson. Um, the EU MDR full title is the European Union Medical Device Regulation 2017-745. So if you're putting a medical device onto the market in the EU, you need to know about this regulation because you need to be compliant with it. Uh, in order for your you to get approval to put that medical device onto the market by um, the regulatory authorities in Europe. It's a new regulation. It came into force in May 2017. And from the 26th of May 2024, all medical devices that are placed on the market in the EU must be in conformity with the MDR. As I said, it's a new regulation. Prior to that, when you were putting your medical device on the market, you had to be compliant with AIMD, which is the uh, Active Implantable, Implantable Medical Device Regulation, and the MDD, the Medical Device Directive. And now they are both gone, and we you must be compliant with the EU MDR. And that's what the focus of this um, video is, the EU MDR. Now, if you're in the area of diagnostics, there's a new regulation in, for those products and it's the IVDR, the in vitro diagnostic regulation was in place previously and now that is gone and we have the new IVDR. But we're gonna focus on the EU MDR in this video. So the EU MDR or what does exist, what exists to ensure the safety and effectiveness and quality of medical devices used in the healthcare across the EU. It's a, we have it because we want to protect our patients, we want to ensure quality and we want to facilitate trade. What does it look like? Well, this is what it looks like. Um, you'll find in the description of this video a link to the regulation that you can take a look at. It's um, available in the official journal of the European Union. And the official journal of the European Union is where EU regulations, directives and decisions are officially published. And in this case, this includes the EU MDR, which was published in the official journal. And when this happened, it marked it going into force. What is the structure of the MDR? Well, it's a large document. There's 174 pages in lint. Then we have at the beginning our introduction section, which consists of 13 pages. And next we have our articles and our chapters, really the meat of the document. So the chapters are groupings or sections within the EU MDR that organize the different articles. So articles are the primary building box blocks of the EU MDR. Each article represents a particular section uh, of, within the regulation which addresses a particular subject. So you might have a number of articles within one chapter. And we have 10 chapters in the EU MDR and in total there are 123 articles. And we'll take a look at the chapters in a moment. And then at the end of the regulation you have uh, the um, annexes. An annex refers to supplementary documents or sections within the EU MDR that provide additional details, guidelines or particular requirements related to various aspects of the regulation. And these annexes are an integral part of the EU MDR and they help provide clarity on certain topics. So, so let's have a look at the introduction section again. Well, there's a 13 page section. It's the preamble that provides the context and the introductory remarks uh, in the EU MDR and explains the objectives, the principles and considerations that underpin the regulation. Next we look at our chapters which contain our, our articles. Remember what I said before you have a chapter and then within that you have you can have a number of articles. So the chapters are the groupings. Let's take a look at the chapters. Here is chapter one, the scope and definition chapter. And within this, we can see we have an article, so chapter, scope and definitions, and an article, subject matter and scope. And here within the regulation, it lays out the requirements regarding the scope of the MDR. Chapter two 
covers the making available on the market and putting into service of devices, obligations for economic operators, reprocessing, the CE marking and free movement. Chapter 3 covers identification and the traceability of devices, the registration of devices and of economic operators, summary of safety and clinical performance, European database and medical devices, and Udemed. Chapter 4 covers notified bodies. Chapter 5 covers the classification and conformity assessments. Chapter 6 covers clinical evaluations and clinical investigations. Chapter 7 covers post-market surveillance, vigilance and market surveillance. Chapter 8 covers cooperation between member states, medical device coordination group, expert laboratories, expert panels and device registries. Chapter 9 covers confidentiality, data protection, funding and penalties. And the last chapter, chapter 10, um, has some final provisions. And those are the chapters within the MDR. Then we have the annexes and there's 17 of those. And here's an example of an annex. Again, it's giving you extra guidance. So here in Annex 2, we, we see guidance around technical documentation. And that concludes a brief overview of what the EU um, MDR is. I hope you've have found it useful. If you have, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for further content. Um, and I will be posting more videos about the EU MDR because it is a, a large document with some new terms there. But hopefully my videos will help you understand it better.